Hundreds of men and women from Oklahoma join the Navy and serve all over the world. On a recent trip to visit the USS George H.W. Bush, we met a sailor who moved to Oklahoma this month. News on 6's Amy Slanchik is on the story in Virginia. The power of F-A-18s taking off and landing. USS George H.W. Bush creates a nearly constant roar on board. The fighter jets are tested all day and night. The pilots and crew members are ready for anything. But before they can take off from the flight deck, the planes spend time here. The best part of my job is definitely uh, fixing airplanes and getting them to fly. Uh, they break a lot. They're like cars. They break all the time. Rene Silvavori is a jet engine mechanic who works on explosives on the canopy ejection seats and all the emergency systems. Live explosives, of course. Yeah, they never, we never, they're always live. We have pins to uh, make sure that nobody forgets her. But at his new home, I've never been to Oklahoma. He'll face a different kind of risk. I heard about the tornado, so I'm like, and excited at the same time. He's been working on these FA-18s for 10 years, but he's ready to try something new. So he'll switch to the E-6 Mercury in Oklahoma. While he's not sure exactly what his work will look like at Tinker Air Force Base. Turning wrenches is turning wrenches, so I'll turn wrenches all day. He knows he'll be proud to do it. That makes your job worth it, like putting people in the air. On the scene, on the story in Norfolk, Virginia, Amy Slanchik, News on 6.